Hi, my name is Peter from Course Makers Crew, and today we made a setup inspired by someone. So yeah, we made a setup inspired by Potato Jet. We spent a lot of time on YouTube lately. We noticed his uh, YouTube video, and it was very interesting. Uh, we don't have a lot of LED flat screen TVs lying around here. That's why we decided to use a beam projector instead of TVs. Also, if you've seen our previous videos, we use uh, beam projectors for a lot of our setups. And before I go to the breakdown, I would like to address Potato Jet. So Potato Jet, if you are watching this video, first of all, thank you. And I really liked your setup. It was very interesting, so I decided to make something similar. Uh, I hope you don't mind. <laughs> yeah. And if you ever come to Poland, please visit Poznań. Poznań is the place that our studio is at, but Poznań is also the capital of potato cuisine. So if you want to eat the best damn potatoes in the whole wide world, come to Poznań. You can actually Google it. Yeah, so without further ado, let's get started. Bigger, border, faster. Going to the maximum. Um, bigger, border, faster. This setup is actually very special because it merges two things that we really, really like, which is virtual production and real-life physical setups. For the background part, we are actually using a YouTube relaxation video. You can use stock footage, you can make it in Unreal, it doesn't matter. I will link this video down below. As you probably noticed, this setup has a lot of lights all around me. That's why we needed to find a way how to reduce spill from going onto the backdrop. We actually made something that uh, we call a uh, three zone lightning. The first zone is actually right over here. This is the place where the talent will sit, where he will talk to the camera. The second zone is created by this huge rim light that we have set up here. Uh, this is actually something that I would like to talk about a little more later on, but basically it's uh, rim light created with uh, three Kinoflow lights. And I would like to talk about it a little bit more because it's a very interesting project that we created uh, very recently. While the first zone role is to make our talent look great, the second zone role is a little bit different. So this zone is used to create a rim light, but also it provides light for our props that are here. Thanks to this, uh, overkill of a uh, rim light, we can actually light the sofa pretty well. Also, we can light our dogs and some other props. Before we go to the third zone, I would like to show you how we lit our props that are right over there on the shelf. We lit our props with this nanite pavo tube that has a grid on it, so it doesn't spill too much on the foreground. Also, it's bouncing its light from this white bounce board. For the props, we uh, wanted to be just like Potato Jet, so we, we took some cameras that we don't use at the moment and put them on the shelf. However, we didn't have an Ari Alexa lying somewhere around. Well, it would be uh, overkill to rent it just for this shot. So yeah, uh, this is what we got. Now, let's go to the third zone, right this way. We are in the third zone now. I didn't adjust the exposure because I wanted to show you how much darker it is than the second and the first zone. This zone role is really simple. It's supposed to keep the projector background as dark as possible. Of course, you will always get some spill on your background, however, in this setup, we decided to move the camera farther away from the background to create more separation. So, talent is sitting about 4.4 meters from the background. Also, the camera is about 8 meters away from the background. When shooting like that, you will probably need a telephoto lens, especially if you're shooting on a full-frame camera. Also, a quick tip, you can use the APS-C mode on your Lumix cameras or the crop sensor mode on any other cameras if you don't have the required lens for those kind of setups. Of course, I understand that this setup is not for everyone. Not everyone has a huge studio space where you have uh, about 10 meters from one wall to another. 
and you need some distance to make this um, 3D zone lighting system work. If you have a smaller space, then I would actually recommend doing the same thing that Potato Jet did in his video. You can use some LED flat screen TVs on the wall instead of a projector screen. Using TVs has its benefits because they don't need to be in total darkness just like the projector screen that is basically just a gray wall. If you have the space and quite a lot of money for the short row projector, then going our way is actually very beneficial as well. Projectors give you a lot of flexibility. They allow you to make different and very interesting setups each time. At our studio, we make a lot of setups each month, as I said in the videos uh, before, that's why we really cannot use uh, TV screens because there's not much that you can actually do with them. Maybe they can be good for smaller setups, but for bigger setups, LED walls or projectors are the way to go. Just before we finish, I would like to give you some tips about working with short row projectors. So first of all, those things are your friend. You will need a lot of blackout cloths and you will probably need to make layers upon layers of cloths all around your studio to block out the light. Also, it's very important to use curtains on your windows. If you don't have any windows at your studio, then you can skip <laughs> this part. But if you have any windows, you should use um, blackout cloths as well. We use um, something called acoustic curtains. Those are uh, stage curtains that are actually very dense. They help with the acoustics, however, they also block out the light, which is very important for us. So those are the curtains, and as you can see, we have one layer of curtains here that are uh, covering our window, and we have another layer on top. We use those to block uh, all of the light that could come uh, through the small openings uh, on top. It's very, very important that you block out all of the light. Light coming through the windows can lit your projector screen unevenly, so you will have some bright spots on the projector and it can look very, very bad. So we need to use the curtains. Also, we can use flags just like this one here. It's actually made from the same material as the curtains. Uh, it's called molten and it's very dense and blocks the light really well. Uh, if you would like to buy something like that, uh, you can check the link below. However, those are made in Poland, so probably you will need to look for something else if you're in another country. At our studio, we use those flags for negative fill. Also, they're really great for reducing the spill from your front lights, just like so. So those are very important things that I wanted to tell you if you ever decide to work with a short row projector. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching, and if you liked it, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to. Also, as always, if you have any questions, write me a comment down below. I will try to answer it as quick as possible. And if you haven't seen Potato Jet's video about this setup, it's really worth watching. Also, if you go to his video, please, Leave a comment that there is some other guy on YouTube that tried this setup and remade it in his studio. Well, maybe it would help Potato Jet to watch my video and it would really, really mean a lot to me. Okay, that's it. Thank you for watching one more time and see you soon. Bye. Hi, I'm Bartek, the owner of the studio, Epic Light Media. I'm watching you. Let it go, I can let it go, this is let it